Aww. Look at these little fluff balls. I wasn't sure what kind of animal they were at first, but they're actually a family of baby barred owls. Not barred owls, barred owls. B A A. Oh, wait, whoops. B A R R E D. Bard. Bard owls. Bard owls. Bard owls. Bard. 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 Some people found them laying on the ground, far from their nest. And they couldn't just put them back in their nest because somebody chopped down their tree. Their mom found them too, but she isn't sure what to do either. The nest she made is long gone. She needs help from a rescuer. Grant! He's gonna get them back to their mom, no matter what it takes. By the way, if you ever see a baby bird on the ground, don't just go picking them up. Sometimes baby birds are supposed to be on the ground. So definitely let a grown up know and definitely do some research. But Grant can tell that these babies did need to be back in a tree. They haven't even opened their eyes yet. But since their tree and nest were gone, he would have to put them in a tree nearby in a new nest. And you can't just buy a nest at the store. So it was up to Grant to make one. He used a bunch of sticks and a small basket too. Once the new nest is ready, it's time for the tricky part. He's gotta get the nest and the baby owls high up in a tree. Luckily, Grant's got all the tools he needs. Some very cool looking boots and a harness and lots of rope. And he's off. No idea what that white rope is for. It's kind of just dangling. I like climbing a good tree every now and then, but I definitely don't think I could do it with a bunch of fragile little baby owls. The whole time, Mama Owl is just watching like, what are you doing? He's gotta get really high up, about 20 feet, maybe more. Once he's found a good spot, it's time to haul up the net. Oh, that's what the white rope was for. Good thinking, Grant. The nest is in place. Seems pretty secure to me. Then, he carefully pulls up the babies in a secure carrier and gently places the babies into the nest, giving them one last look over as he does. And soon, look at those cute babies, all snuggled up together. Grant thought this rescue mission was over until two weeks later. The owner of the tree said they could only see two babies in the nest, which made Grant worry. What if something happened to the third one? So he brought his gear and climbed the tree one more time. And when Grant peeked into the nest, all three were there, all grown up. They're clacking their beaks to tell Grant to get out of here. The funny thing is, they don't remember him from the rescue. Their eyes were closed the whole time. But Grant was so happy to see them, safe and sound. Soon, they'll be able to leave the nest and have full happy lives. All thanks to Grant, their nest building, tree climbing hero. You okay? From the moment he spotted this wild owl on the side of the road, Carson could tell that something was very wrong. The owl wasn't moving, and he looked scared. Carson wasn't a professional animal rescuer, but he knew he couldn't just leave this owl all alone. So he decided to become a hero. Carson had never cared for an owl before. What do you give an owl for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> he was going to need some help. But it was late at night, and the local rescues were closed. Carson would have to keep the owl safe until the morning. Until then, his new friend needed a name. I shall name you Roger. Carson and Roger settled in for the night. Good night, Roger. And by the next morning... Can you see him? He's standing up, guys. <laughs> hey, Rog. <laughs> Roger was up on his feet and sort of hog in the bathroom. Um. <laughs> Carson really loved his new friend. 
but he knew it was time to take Roger to the owl experts. Just because Roger was up on his feet didn't mean he was ready for the wild again. All right, guys. So they hit the road. There he is. And Carson left Roger with some professional rescuers. Bye, Roger. <laughs> he was sad to say goodbye to Roger, but he knew he had done the right thing for his owl friend. When the experts got Roger back to their owl sanctuary, they gave him a thorough checkup and discovered the problem right away. Roger's wing was bruised. He would have to stay at the rescue until he could learn to fly again. They cleaned up his injured wing and gave him some medicine to make sure he didn't get sick. Roger was pretty nervous about all the attention. He'd never been this close to humans before. But the vets could tell Roger was a very brave owl. After a couple of days, his wing was starting to feel better. But before they could set Roger free, they'd have to make sure his wing was completely healed. He would need some flying practice. Are you ready, Roger? Time for a test flight. Good job, Roger. Once Roger started flying, he couldn't be stopped. After two weeks, Roger was finally feeling like his old self soaring through the air, and happy. At last, the time had come to bring Roger back to the wild. So the rescuers got him ready. They brought him to his home in the woods, where somebody special was waiting for him. His friend Carson. What's up? <laughs> Roger took a moment and looked at all the people who had come to his rescue. In his own way, Roger was saying thank you to Carson and the other heroes. They said their goodbyes, Bye, Rog. <laughs> and off he went. Now, Roger's back in the wild, where he's happiest. But he'll always remember his rescuers, and they'll never forget him either. It's not every day you spot an owl on the side of the road and become a hero. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jackpot. Oh, my favorite. Wait, did I? Is someone up there? Mm, you guys are missing out. Hello? Whoa, whoa. Oh, where do I start? Look at the size of this guy. <gasps> Cheryl, check out the size. I've got super hearing, you know. <gasps> what was that? Hey. This one. No, this, this? No, this one. No. Bye-bye. See you next time! <laughs> like and subscribe for more.